Hey everybody, this is Tina with 85th House Vibrations and welcome to your monthly readings for October 2016. In honor of Halloween, I'll be using my little spooky filter. I know a few of you were put off by that and I'm sorry, but um, I want to have a little bit of fun, do something a little different and in the upcoming months, I'll be getting back to semi-normal. I say semi because nothing's ever really normal where I'm coming from. And remember, if I get on camera looking like the Crypt Keeper, you asked for it. <laughs> anyway, the other thing is that I will be using a new spread. It is an eight-card spread. It's called Planetary Spread. And it has a uh, card for uh, the two lim luminaries, which are the sun and the moon. And there is a card placement for Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, and then there's an outcome card. So that is um, a total of uh, eight cards in the spread. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, so far, so good, I think. I think I may have confused uh, a few people in some of the previous videos. And like I mentioned to, uh, I think, Virgo and Libra and so forth, I'm actually an astrologer first. So a lot of times I interject a lot of astrology into my tarot readings and, and it may throw some people off. I'll try to simplify it if I can uh, or make it uh, more understandable. But let me know what you guys think about the spread. Let me know if it works for you or if you like the, um, the three card spread that I've been using. It, it gives a lot of information as well. So, you know, if you have a notion to, just let me know how you feel about that. Um, and if you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe. If any of you would like a personal reading, you can contact me at Tina at 85th House Vibrations dot net. And with that, let's get on to our readings. Hey, Aquarius, I want to go ahead and get started with your reading. But let me just go ahead and say in advance, there's a guy out there with the leaf blower. Um, and so if it gets loud, I'm sorry. I hope it doesn't interfere with the reading. It's not like he only had all day. <laughs> it was like as soon as I started to uh, read, because I had started um, recording this. And as soon as I started, it's like, ah, I'm like, oh my goodness, really? Okay. Moving on. So I just wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up. I'll just talk louder because if I wait, oh goodness, and then I'll get done. Okay, so Aquarius in the position of the sun, which the sun is about the self. It's about your ego. It's about happiness, success, joy, achievements, accomplishments, fame, recognition, uh, optimal health. Mm. You know what? The sun is, I guess that's kind of when you are uh, <clears throat> firing on all cylinders. Optimal performance. I mean, the sun, the giver of life. That's what the sun is, and that is what represents the self. And for you this month, Aquarius, your self is connected to the family as a whole. You don't have any sense of yourself as an individual this month, and that's not a bad thing. This is you being selfless because this is the family card. This is the Ten of Cups. That's what we have in the sun position. Uh, the Ten of Cups is about satisfaction, fulfillment. This is about getting to the point where you finally have everything that you need and want to create a beautiful home life, beautiful personal life. Beautiful relationships with the people you love. I mean, these include children and siblings, parents, grandparents, 
uh, this card shows the husband, wife, and the two kids and the dog. But this card about family, this is about extended family as well. So, again, Aquarius, like I said, you have no sense of self. That's not what brings you happiness this well. Your happiness comes from knowing that everybody's okay. That everybody's taken care of. Everybody's feeling the love. Comfortable. Um, I don't know if I said well taken care of already. But these are the things that make you feel whole in the month of October. Um, <clears throat> the sun is in Libra in October. And Aquarius, I believe that that is going on in your ninth house. Yes, I just want to be sure because I wrote it down. That's a lot of information. Yes, that's going on in, in, in your ninth house. And you're going to have a lot of activity in the ninth house. That's where most of the activity is going to be for you this month, Aquarius, because we have Sun in Libra. We have Mercury moving into Libra on the 8th, I believe. Um, and we have Jupiter in Libra. Okay? So, all of that's going to be going on in your ninth house. The spotlight's going to be on the area of life for you that um, that rules uh, higher education, long distance travels, philosophy, religion, foreign cultures. There are other things, but I, I'll get back to that as I remember them. But <clears throat> um. Aquarius, what you feel like you need to do in order to make your family uh, the perfect unit, what you feel like you need to do in order to enhance that sense of security and fulfillment and things like that, is to show your family that there is more than what is going on in your little area of the world, that there's more out there, that there's more to learn, more to do, more to see, more to experience. Uh, this concentrated energy in your ninth house as it relates to your family, those are the messages that I'm getting for that. You want to take the family and travel. I mean, you don't want to just go to the next city or to grandma's house unless she lives in Idaho and you live in Seattle. That's long distance travel. A lot of times this can be overseas too. But you know, all of us don't travel overseas and you know that's we don't some of us don't need to go that far, but that can be representative of traveling over the water. Um, and when I speak of foreign foreign cultures uh, 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 that can be foreign as anything that's not familiar to you so if you live in Texas and you want to travel to California to see how they do their thing that's studying foreign culture Mars and Pisces is what uh, rules this card. So Mars and Pisces, you know, is a very easy, loving, uh, sensitive, gentle energy. And it puts its efforts into love, spirituality, 
things unknown. Because Pisces can be about hidden things, this is somebody putting their energies with Mars and Pisces. This is somebody putting their energies into things that they don't know about. And that's what you want to do for you and your family, Aquarius. That That's basically what I'm trying to get to. That is what makes you feel uh, fulfilled. You're selfless this month. It's all about everybody as far as you're concerned. In the moon position, we've got the six of coins. And the moon is about the home, personal life, private sector life, emotions, what makes you feel safe. This is about your family, nurturing, all of those things that we do for home. So you've got the six of coins there. And this card operates under the energies of Moon and Taurus. I always say, this is my personal opinion, that Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn are a few of the ultimate providers. I'm not saying that the other signs aren't providers. I'm just saying the way that I think of it in my experiences and in what I've learned. If you want to talk about people that don't quit providing and feel like that is what they're here to do, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. They are earth signs. They provide. That's all I need. People. So again, in the moon position, which is, uh, and you now you're already thinking about family here in the self position, but now we move on to the position that is still about family that you know piggybacks on to uh, in your situation, family. We've got the six of coins, and the six of coins is about generosity. This is about providing. It's about helping those that need it. I call this card the what goes around comes around in the best way card. This is giving it if you have it and not being afraid to ask for it if you need it. Not giving so much though that you uh, unintentionally cripple a person per se because they never have to stand on their own two feet because they know that if they fall short you're there to pick up the slack and not asking for help so much that you can't get your stuff together you can't figure out how to strike out on your own there is a balance and I know you can't see it because the filter is all funky but he's got, there's some scales right here. So he's giving, you can see he's got a coin in his hand and he's reaching out directly to you. But he's also got a scale in his hand and this is about fair. Being fair, this is about balance. This is about being just, honest. Give and take, like I said. So, with the six of coins here, this uh, supports the fact for me that you are all about the family and providing for them and making the best opportunities that you can for them. And you want them to experience a little bit more in life. And what makes you comfortable emotionally is knowing that you have enough to make those things happen that you have enough to give to them when they need it you have enough to provide for them when they don't even know they need it that you have enough to be generous to others you what's making you comfortable right now aquarius is just knowing that you are in the best position to help others and i you know this is the 
private sector of life and uh, with this being in the moon position but I you know I kind of feel like this extends to uh, pretty much everybody in your circle not just your kids or your husband yeah you know, I, like I, I feel like this is about extended family as well in the mercury position we have the three of wands and you know this card has come up I'm sorry and goodness gracious I can't count the number right now but this card has shown up in quite a few October readings so like I said this card is about working hard and waiting for the payoff you put in a lot of effort you and I with the six of coins in the moon position and three of wands here in the mercury position I feel like this is your mind on your money and your money on your mind uh, you've made the efforts you've done the due, due, due diligence you've put the work in and now you are waiting for your ship to come in you've done what you needed to do and this is what your thoughts are around your thoughts are around having enough making sure family is everything and and doing the work that you need to do in order to make that happen in the Venus position Venus is about our creative expression it's about uh, what makes us comfortable it's what we're attracted to not like the moon where uh, we're talking about what makes us feel safe and comfortable Venus is just about things that we find beautiful it's about uh, the things that you know like we buy to make us happy when we go shopping it's about our personal hygiene how we maintain our homes if I had said so already it's a, it could be about money so in the Venus position we've got the temperance card reversed so Aquarius what I'm feeling like here is that you are somebody that you are dealing with is a little all over the place maybe not emotionally balanced hot and cold um only looking really for fairness when it comes to them and their benefit i'm also feeling like too because with this three of wands here that precedes the temperance card what you're thinking about which is with the three of wands this is where your mind is this is where your communication is and I think I forgot to describe the things that Mercury rule which is communication your intellect the way you communicate with people uh, your expression Mercury is about work the community, your neighborhood, your siblings, childhood friends, lower education. You know, I talked about all these things uh, going on in Libra in your ninth house. But um, Mercury rules the opposite house, which is the third house, which is also about education, but it's about lower education. It's also about travel, just like the ninth house, but where the ninth house is about long distance travel, the third house is about short distance travels. We are pretty much about the things that the, the, the places you go every day, the people you see every day, the things you do every day, your daily routine, your childhood, you know, people that you know from way back, uh, the spots that you hang out at regularly. It's social media. I mean, it covers so many things I could go on and on. But again, 
you're thinking about the work that you've done to take care of your family and find fulfillment but here in the Venus position there's somebody that you may be dealing with if it's not yourself who doesn't seem to share your vision you're over here they're over there you come over here to them they end up going over there and I feel like two Aquarius you may feel like that uh, whomever this temperance card represents if it's not you I feel like you, you you think they're keeping you in the dark about something because you are looking with the three of wands and what you're thinking and it's in the position that precedes the Venus position in the temperance card you are looking up expectantly at this Venus person kind of like well what's going on with you but they're unbalanced and uh, you feel like they're keeping you in the dark this is a person who goes to extremes as well emotionally they could be calm, cool, and collected one minute, and then the next minute be completely irate. They just don't have, um, they don't seem to have a healthy control over their emotions a lot of times. If you say something to them, they might just pop off at the drop of a dime and and you're wondering like well, you know what did I do the only thing that I've been trying to do is do everything right to support this family to make sure that we were all comfortable but whenever I come to you you seem to have some sort of issue with me okay so moving on to the Mars position Mars is about our energy our passions, our desires. It's about sex. It's about physical movement. Uh, Mars can also be about energy and vitality. Because like I said, it is actually our physical movement. Mars is also about hostility and aggression. It's about fighting. Uh, Mars is the warrior. And Mars by itself doesn't have any discernment whether the fight is for good or evil, all Mars knows is that it's got to fight. So it, it, it really doesn't care uh, to stand on a soapbox. It just knows it's time for action. And Mars is like, if it's action you want, it's action you're going to get. Well, in the Mars position, we have the magician reversed. So I'm feeling like whoever... The temperance card represents here in the Venus position, which is somebody that's close to you, if it's not the energies that you're projecting. Uh, I'm feeling like this, uh, the person in the Venus position that you're dealing with, that you feel like is leaving you in the dark, that seems to be emotionally unbalanced, is acting out the magician reversed. You ask them about something first, they blow up at you, and then they may try to con you. They may try to fool you. May even try to swindle you. The magician, I always say, you know, the magician has, and I, okay, I know with the funky filters, but the magician has all the tools that he needs, and he has all of those tools in the four elements, which is earth, uh, air, fire, and water. And if I hadn't been using the funky filter, then you would be able to see all of those things. The magician has those things at his disposal. He has the ability to create whatever he wants because he has all of the tools. He can create his own reality. But when he's reversed, he either loses his tools or he's not using them properly. I have to wonder though, usually when I see the magician reversed, I feel like this is somebody who is um, misusing their tools purposely. 
But Aquarius, for you this time, I just kind of feel like you're dealing with somebody who might be a little bit immature. Doesn't really know how to use those tools. Either they haven't had the experience on their own, or they've always looked to somebody else uh, to take care of uh, creating their reality for them. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I just don't necessarily feel like the magician in this case is being purposely dishonest or deceitful. With the temperance card reversed in that Venus position, you know, this being another person that you're dealing with, they, you know, they just, they may need some sort of external, um, I'm going to say intervention because I'm not saying it's drugs, but I feel like the, they, they they just may need some outside help, whether it is counseling, whether it is uh, medications to help stabilize their mood, whether they uh, need uh, some sort of exercise regimen, hobby, just something to help them be balanced. And I once they find that balance, I feel like then they can turn the magician upright and use their tools in the proper way like i said i just don't feel like this in this case is somebody who is doing this purposely it could be yeah but i just don't feel that this time so there may be some battles between uh you and the temperance card the person who is uh represented by the temperance card because you feel left in the dark, because you feel like they pop off on you for no reason, because you, you really don't know where they're coming from on any given day. Like I said, they're so emotionally unbalanced sometimes. You just really don't know what to do. To do. And, and with the Three of Wands, again, to go back and just add another little uh, uh, piece to that, this could be a matter of when you are awaiting that person or when you know they're coming around, you reel in your energies and just kind of sit back to wait and see how they're going to be so you can know which way to go nonetheless whether this person uh whether this magician reversed energy whether this is done purposefully or not it's causing you here in the jupiter position and jupiter rules your finances your acquisitions it's the good luck planet. Jupiter comes to expand things and give us more. But you are not feeling like that's happening and you're losing sleep over it. You know you're working hard. You know what your goal is and that is your family as a whole. You are spending restless nights thinking about how to give them more. How to bring good luck to them. How to expand the positive things in their life. How to get your family's uh, finances and resources and things, you know, as a whole. You spend a lot of time worried about that. And it may be keeping you up at night. In the Saturn position, Saturn comes along to make us responsible people. Saturn is about commitment, discipline, doing the work, following the rules, staying inside the box. Uh, but it's also about obstacles, restrictions, setbacks, delays, uh, blockages, which is probably the same as obstacles. In that position, we have the, and this could be about older people. I'm sorry, Saturn can be about older people. Authority. Either way, we have the page of coins in the Saturn position. And really, just to make this short and sweet, I feel like the page of coins 
And court cards are people that we generally deal with or that come into our life or space. Or it could be energies that we project. But uh, this page of coins, I feel like, is somebody that you may be dealing with. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And, and they don't have to, uh, it, it, it doesn't have to be their sun sign. This could be their rising or moon sign. But, you know, really, to make a long story short with the page of coins in the Saturn position, I just, I, I'm, I'm feeling like you feel like they just need to grow up. You're feeling like they're immature, inexperienced, and it's causing, and, and you feel like the page of coins is, not only holding you back possibly, but, but holding themselves back due to the lack of maturity uh, or the lack of commitment, the lack of discipline, the lack of uh, practicality, if, if that's a word, I hope it is, or the lack of being practical. You feel like they've got a lot of growing up to do. You feel like they need to go back to the drawing board and try, try to figure it out. Maybe learn some more stuff because right now, you, you feel like they just don't have it right. In the outcome position, we have the Eight of Wands reversed. Aquarius, I feel like you come to a point sometime in this month where you just feel like you might want to give up. It's like, I, you know what, I don't even want to try with this anymore. You feel like you got the weight of the world on you. Your energy might be a little low. And I feel like, I, because the Ten of Wands reversed too, to me is about placing blame. Now, whether or not that is justified or not, is to be determined and I, in this particular case I'm not really here to say whether um, it's justified or not what I'm saying Aquarius is that you may feel that all of your troubles and burdens and things that are weighing you down may be due to that person that you feel like needs to grow up somebody needs to get it right if it's not you uh, it could certainly be you uh, just uh, you know everybody is, is uh, or, or I guess what I'm saying is everybody's multi-dimensional we are all complex we all have different ways of being and methods of thinking. Uh, we're like, we could be like this on Monday and, and maybe a little different on Tuesday. Uh, we aren't one trick ponies, is what I'm saying. So, all of these things could just be 50 shades of you, Aquarius. I don't feel like that. I do feel like this is another person. But, you know, you, you could be dealing, there's only one court court card in this spread um, so that doesn't say that you're dealing with a lot of extra people however I can sometimes look at the major arcana as other people as well but in this case I feel like it's one other person I don't think this this is you uh, being the civil and I gotta stop making all of these old pop culture references because a lot of the younger people are not going to have a clue what I'm talking about. Sybil <laughs> was a movie that came out about a young lady who had multiple personalities. And so what I was saying, kids, is that um, while Aquarius, you could certainly be the civil I just don't think that it is I think that you are dealing with somebody else who is giving off these energies um, but you know Aquarius just keep being you just keep doing what you do 
you're good at being there for other people. And I know that gets old and weighs you down sometimes, but trust me, it is not all for naught. Even if the temperance card, the magician reversed, the page of coins reversed, doesn't recognize it, somebody does. Somebody knows what you're doing. Somebody knows what you're about. Somebody knows you're making the right moves and doing the right things and doing all you can. It may not be the person that you want to notice, but somebody notices. And that's the way I see it. So I hope to see you guys again next month. If you like a personal reading, you can send me an email at tina at 85thhousevibrations.net. See you guys next time.